Okay, uh, I, I'm from Lillooet, uh, BC, Canada, and uh, Lillooet means keep, uh, they use that, the rivers come together to join, and that's what that means there, but uh, in our nation where I'm from, we're called the Shtlatlian people, and there's 11 tribes. And our tribe is Chachalip, the fountain people called, uh, we are mountain people. So Chachalip means the brow of the mountain. So that's where we live. And my dad uh, and mother, uh, they had t TB, tuberculosis came through. And uh, I had previous uh, brothers that passed away before I was born. I'm the youngest. So, uh, and my mother passed away when I was uh, 18 months old, mm -hmm. and my dad passed away when I was four years old. So, so they were in their 30s, yeah? Yeah, and so they see in, in our ways, the relatives can pass the child on to another relative to raise for them. And I, that happened to me. So I had quite a few relatives I went through. But in those times, the relatives had 10 kids, so they gave me to the one that only had two children. And that's one who raised me and my sister. So, um, and then the residential school came along and told all of the parents that the children have to go to that residential school regardless. And if they don't, the parents are responsible for that and they will put them in jail. Mm. They, they, it is their law. Mm -hmm. They had to take us away. Mm -hmm. Actually, five years old when they removed me. My sister was already going to school, and my birthday was in October, and I was only five years old, but September's when I started school. So they took me anyway at five years old to the res, and I was away for 10 years mm -hmm. from home. So, uh, it's re it was really hard. my sister passed away in there in down in the school when she was 12 with tuberculosis mm -hmm. I was in a TB hospital for five years and uh, in bed for five years and no medication so they had to depend on rest mm -hmm. and, and good foods so by the time I got home when I was uh, 15 <laughs> my grandfather did not know I was alive mm -hmm. My grandfather was very, very happy to see that I was, I was alive and he had a ranch. He turned over to me, horses, cattle, mm -hmm. and, and he had money. And he gave me money, but I didn't know what to do with it. I just gave it away because the residential school didn't teach mm -hmm. us anything about money. Mm -hmm. All of those things, how to look after ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know what to do with all uh, that. I just yeah. went to a residential school. Mm. Oh, residential yeah, school. Yeah, Indian residential oh, school. Okay. They, they put a lot, lot of us natives in yeah. those kind of schools. And, and that's where they, uh, in, they would not allow you to speak the native language or eat native food, is that right? Oh, yeah. Because that happened in the early days of Hawaii, too. Yeah, I was speaking good native language. I learned from uh, different tribes, nations, or, mm -hmm. because my dad, when we traveled picking berries and picking hops, I, I used to play with the other children and learn their language. So I, as I'd speak their language with them. So I learned about two other languages plus mine. Mm -hmm. And so when I went to school, I would talk to them in our language and we'd get beat up. Mm -hmm. They made sure we did not speak our language yeah. anymore and I cried. I would, oh no. It was really hard. How I, old were you again? I was about five yeah, or six. Yeah, that, oh, that's early. Yeah. Six, yeah, so I, I could, was crying pretty hard. I, I think all my life I could hear myself crying, that little voice, mm -hmm. you know, because that is a big pain mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, being a counselor now, I can understand where a lot of our people are going through, so mm -hmm. I can help them. Mm -hmm and understand that, that kind of pain. So. Now, the, uh, the younger generation, though, a lot of them don't know our, our language. And yeah. uh, our tribe, our band, the Found Band, only has less than 900 members. Yeah. And then when the, when the band gets that, that low with membership, you're looking at, uh, you know, uh, the assimilation of, uh, you know, of, of the tribe into English and, and, and losing their native tongue. Yeah. So, so 
if people wanted to learn, uh, you know, the language today, or if mm -hmm. we wanted to save it, uh, what, do, what options do we have? Well, uh, they did make a book, dictionary, and C CD on uh, our language. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they have teachers that are go allowed now to uh, do a teaching mm -hmm. class mm -hmm. of our language. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I have a tape and CDs, but mm -hmm. the mental block's still there for yeah. me that I yeah. cannot, uh, I can, I'm still not allowed to use it by my, mm -hmm. when I was told when I was a little yeah, boy. Yeah. It's yeah, still it's, in there. It's, it's still like in there. Said, no, it's locked no, in there, huh? You're not allowed to use that. Yeah. So I try to learn it, but it, you know, it, I can't. And, and you're also saying, you also were mentioning uh, to me uh, that uh, that even the elders today that know how to speak it, which is very few right now, yeah. is uh, they don't want to teach the younger ones so they got that mental block when they were kids that it was not, uh, yeah, that it was, to, not, hey, yeah, you know, was it pagan or something like yeah. that or heathen to, to speak it and so therefore it was, and it's still in their head and yeah. so even today they're having trouble trying to teach the younger ones. Yeah, that's too bad. The one thing that, uh, Really, um, when when they apologized, mm -hmm. Harper apologized to us natives of what they did to us in residential school. the The wall came down for me, but um, when I was five years old, I could still hear the elders and myself talking our language. Mm -hmm. I can talk my language fluently, but mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, I know. Mm -hmm. I could hear myself talking, so I can do it now, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the only thing is, it's, mm -hmm. it's, really, it's really hard to, mm -hmm. to, uh, to get that to where, uh, uh, mm -hmm. to understand myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a lot of things we're, we're teaching now, mm -hmm. our young people. I'm, I'm also teaching the, the children, three and four year olds, five year olds, the, the culture that they didn't allow us to do. And I'm very honored to do that. I got three schools I teach.